Welcome to my YouTube channel. At today's lesson is about volume of a cylinder. To begin with, we need to derive the formula for getting volume of a cylinder. A cylinder at the base here it has a circle. Therefore, if you want to get the volume of the cylinder, we say area of the base which is also called cross-sectional area multiplied by the height. So in this cylinder, the height is here. That is the distance from here to here is what we call the height. The area of the base, as you can see, the base of this cylinder is a circle. And how do we get area of a circle? Area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. Therefore, if you want to get the volume, we we'll say volume of a cylinder is equals to area of the base or base area multiplied by the height and what is this base area the base is a circle and the area of a circle is pi r squared therefore pi r squared multiplied by the height gives us the volume of that cylinder and now with this we have derived the formula for getting volume of a cylinder now let's apply this formula in getting volume of a cylinder in our first example, we are told that a cylindrical water tank has a diameter of 1.4 meters and a height of 3 meters. What is the volume of the tank in meters cubed? So, if the, the moment we see the word a cylindrical tank, that means it's a cylinder. And we are given, in that cylinder, we are given the diameter as 1.4 meters. We are also given the height as 3 meters. Therefore, now let's apply the formula to get the volume because the question is asking about the volume and it should be in meters cubed. We said volume of a cylinder is equal to cross-sectional area which is pi r squared times the height. In our question, we are given diameter but not r because our formula dictates that we use radius. Therefore, now, a diameter is a line that runs from the circumference of the circle to the circumference of the circle through the center of the circle. Therefore, this is the diameter. A half of that diameter makes what we call radius. Therefore, for us to get radius from this diameter, we divide it into two equal parts. As you can see here, when I divide my diameter into two equal parts, I get radiuses. These are radius, these are radius. So, for us to change 1.4 meters into radius, we divide by 2. So 1.4 divided by 2. 0 0.7. Because 14 divided by 2 is 7. And remember there was a decimal here. So our R is 0 0.7. Now let's work out the whole question. Volume is equal to pi. And in this case, we are told to use 22 over 7 times our R, which is 0 0.7, you can read it as a fraction of 7 over 10, times 7 over 10, because of being squared, we are squaring the radius. Multiply by the H, which is our height of 3 meters. Now we can cross multiply, that goes with that. 7 times 3 is 21, 21 times 32. So 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. Then you put together, that 2 comes there, 6, 4. All this, remember 10 times 10 is 100. So our numerator is 462 
divide by 100. When we're dividing using powers of 10, we introduce decimals to the left. So this one, 0, put the decimal place there. The other 0, shift it to the left like that. And we have our answer as 4.62 meters cube. In our second example, we are told that a cylinder has a radius of 70 meters. Its height is 20 meters. What is its volume and we're given the pi as 22 over 7 so this is a cylinder and we are given the radius as 7 meters and the height as 20 meters and we're being asked about the volume therefore here we apply the formula and volume is equal to cross-sectional area which is pi r squared this is the area of the base, which is a circle, multiplied by the height. Therefore, our volume will be pi, which is given as 22 over 7, multiplied by our r, which is 7, but it should be 7 squared because it's r squared. So r squared means 7 times 7, multiplied by height, and our height is 20. So we cross multiply 7, it goes by 7, it's 1. 7 times 20 it's 140. Multiplied by 22. 2 times 0 is a 0. 2 times 4, it's a 8. 2. 0, 8, 2. We drop 0 there. 8 there. 10, carry 1, 3. Therefore, the answer is 3080 meters cubed. Remember the unit of measuring volume is always cubed. If it was area, we could talk about squared. In other example, we are told that an oil tank is 3.5 meters in diameter and 14 meters long. What is the volume of the tank? Therefore, we apply the formula and the formula of getting volume of a cylinder is cross-sectional area, which is the area of a circle and the area of a circle is square r squared multiplied by the height. In this question, 3.5 meters is the diameter. Therefore, we need to change it into radius. So 3.5 divided by 2. 3 divided by 2 is 1 because of 2. We put our point, we drop 5 there. 15 divided by 2 is 7 because of 14. Remainder 1. Then we put a 0 there. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Therefore, our radius is 1.75. Now, let's get now the volume. Therefore, our pi being 22 over 7, we multiply by the radius, which is 175 over 100. We are changing it into fraction times 175 over 100 times our height, and our height is 14. By 7 here, it's 1. By 7 here, it's 2. 2 multiplied by 22, 22 times 2 is 44. Now let's multiply this one, 175. Multiply by 175. 5 times 5 is 25, carry 2. 5 times 7 is 35, that 5 plus 2, that's 7, carry 3. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. 7 times 5 is 35. Carry 3. 7 times 7 is 49. 49 plus 3 is 52. Carry 5. 7 times 1 is 7. Plus 5 is 12. Then 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 7 is 7. And 1 times 1 is 1. And then we put them together, which is 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. Carry 1. 1 plus 9 is 1 plus 8, 9. 9 plus 2, it's 11. 11 plus 5, it's 16. Carry 1. 1 plus 2, is 3. 3 plus 7, it's 10. Carry 1. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. After getting this now, we now need to multiply with 44. And the 44, you got by saying 22 times 2, which is 44. Therefore, 30,625 multiplied by 44. 4 times 5 is 20, 
You carry two, four times two, eight plus two, ten. You carry one, twenty-four, twenty-five, zero, two, twelve. Twenty, carry two, four times two, it's eight. Eight, eight plus two, it's ten. You carry one, four times six is twenty-four, plus one, twenty-five, carry two. 4 times 0, it's 0, so we put our 2 there. And 4 times 3, it's 12. These are 0, 0, 5, 7, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3, 1. After getting this, remember our denominator here was 10,000. Therefore, we divide by 10,000. This is the numerator. Divide by 10,000. So these two zeros they cancel and this zero introduces a decimal place there this one shifts it there and our answer is 134.75 meters cubed this is the volume now in our fourth example we are told that a water tank is in the shape of a cylinder its height is 1.4 meters and its radius is 0 0.35 meters. What is the volume of the tank? So again, we apply the formula of getting volume of a cylinder, which is volume of a cylinder is equals to pi r squared height. So we are given the radius. We are also given the height. Our pi is 22 over 7. We have been given like that. Multiply by r squared and our r is 0 0.35. So we change it to a fraction, which is 35 over 100, 100 times 35 over 100 multiplied by our height which is 40 over 10 it was 1.4 but i've changed it into a fraction now i cross multiply by 71 by 75 by 5 1 by 5 20 by 2 10 by 2 11 by 5 2 by 5 7 by 2, 1 by 2, 7. Therefore, 11 times 7 times 7. So, 7 times 7 is 49. 49 times 11, we shall have times 11, that's 9, 4, 9, 4. 9, 13, 5, which is 539. All this divide by 100 times 10, which is 1,000. So because we're dividing by powers of 10, this 0 should be the decimal, introduce the decimal point there. This one takes there. This one puts the decimal point there. And our answer is 0 0.539 meters cubed. I wish you the best and kindly subscribe, press notification bell, and also practice, remember practice, but perfect. Thanks for watching.